This winter I am away. Okay, sorry. Had to say hello. This winter I am just letting winter be winter. Let me explain. Winter is a time for rest and hibernation and sleep. I have struggled here and there with a little bit of seasonal depression. Before I would just kind of let it happen to me, I have started kind of trying to figure out what my perfect winter recipe is. And I'll say it changes year to year and obviously every person is different. So I think everyone's winter recipe is a little, you know, unique. I'm gonna share with you my winter recipe this year. Number one, staying inside. I mean, it depends where you live. I have a very cold winter ahead of me. In years past, I have forced myself to to get the same amount of outside time and just like activity. I was kind of making myself feel very restricted by the season because I was pursuing a lot of activities that don't quite match with the vibe of like hibernation. In a way, it was like self-fulfilling prophecy. I would just expect winter to be terrible, expect it to limit everything that I wanted to do, then yet still try to force doing all those things. Like I'm not doing any of that this year. I'm not leaving the house. As bad as that might sound, I'm just having a cozy indoor winter. I have candles, warm lights in here. I'm trying to limit my just out and aboutness a lot and just kind of enjoying a nice restful quiet period. This is sounding so grandma. Tonight I'm literally making soup. It's a grandma winter. It's a soup winter. And so far it's going really good. I'm having a great time. Not expecting it to be such an active, busy time period or season has really allowed me to relax. Spring will come, no doubt. I'll be nice and rested and ready for that new time. If I stay in, how do I describe this? If I take a slow period, I get scared that that slow period is gonna last forever and I'm gonna turn into a lazy slump bump on a log. But that's not true. That's not true. And I think I'll be even better in the next season if I just, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, of course he wants to stop right when, yeah, mm-hmm, sure. Tonight we're making soup, we're watching movies. Yeah, a lot coming up. Also, in the next couple days, I'm traveling home for Christmas. And so we gotta pack, we gotta get ready. There's a lot to do. Let me show you. Best candle of life ever that I've ever had. Bath and Body Works. You know how they have like the mega candle sale every year. $10 a candle. There's a reason. Let me though preface by saying I've burned this probably like five to eight times. What is this, honey? It's empty. I have candles a fourth this size that have lasted me 10 times as long. Mm. This candle has been the source of my Christmas. It was not Christmas until I got this candle. So what else to check off our grandma winter? We have candles, soup, sleeping early. I'm not trying to sound like Mother Earth. I am kind of am because I'm letting myself sync with like, sync with the, with the routine of the day. Or like sync with the daylight almost. What? What I was trying to say was I get up when the sun rises and I settle down when the sun sets. Uh, with the sink my routine with... What? I know yesterday I was like, stay inside, don't go outside in the winter. But here's the thing, now, today, I went outside and it's gonna be like mid 50s today. So I'm like, okay, fine. I might as well, let me set you up here. Might as well take advantage of this lovely day. Out of Oatnog this week, I know, worldwide international tragedy, but we'll make do, right? Last night I made my soup, very good. I didn't have enough broth. I ordered it on DoorDash and then they substituted it for a smaller size of broth. So I had like half the amount of liquid I needed, but I still made the full thing. I could just get more broth, you know? Or I'll just have like a very meaty soup. That's up for debate. I was gonna show you me making the soup, but I'm like, the last thing YouTube needs is a soup montage. A lot of people are providing that and I didn't want to add to add to the fury you know i definitely have some dinner montages on my channel from like way back so if you're really dying to see me cook a meal you can watch that but last night wasn't feeling it just soup you know i'm not trying to sit here and like do the da -da -da -da, like chopping all the things like no honestly it was very messy i don't even have a cutting board i had my carrots all out here chopping on the counter what can you say oh i also made cornbread 
oh, my southern girl heart was on fire. The reason I'm into this whole like, sorry, is my armpit shaved? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was in a big yoga phase over the summer. They kept going on and on about how in the summer your body doesn't need more heat energy so you don't need to work out really hard. At least for yoga, like it's more about like peace and cooling and restorative. Then obviously in the winter is the time when you need to like build heat. I'm pretty sure this is a universal thing. Like if you've ever done a little bit of yoga, they probably talked about this. I don't know. It keeps popping up into my mind because I'm like, actually this does make sense. In the winter, it's so cold outside. I feel like everything is just physically and internally stuck, cold, sleeping, you know? So the theory is you need to have a lot of warm foods and keep yourself very warm. That's where I'm coming from with the whole like stay inside eating soup thing. Revolutionary idea. I'm sure no one attempted this before. But at least you have me to tell you how it goes, right? Gonna go on a walk, gonna go to the park. That's the thing. I'm doing exactly what I shouldn't be doing. Because this is what I try to do. I love to go to the park when it's warm. And then I try to go to the park in the winter and I'm reminded exactly why I should have stayed inside. Right now, right now, I'm going to have a little brunch moment. Ta-da! Major change of scenery from New York to now we're on a freaking lake in Florida. <laughs> this is so pretty though. I got <laughs> gingerbread flavored cookie pop. If you never had cookie pop, what are you doing? When cookie pop first began, they only had, I think it was an Oreo flavor. Now they have like a million flavors. They have like Twix, all these crazy stuff, nutter butter. I saw someone do like a red versus green food challenge the other day and they had these and I was like, oh my God. Then I saw them just now and I was at the grocery store. So let's see what they're all about very good they taste just like gingerbread delicious i'm kind of doing a winter hack right now because florida is not really actually winter if you live in florida all year long and you don't have a winter do you still go through sorry do you still get winter blues like seasonal depression do you get sad like why would you get sad it's not even cold and it's just like spring it's actually a good question like does that only happen to people who are going through the actual season change or does it have something to do with something else let me know drop a comment if you have a clue because i don't Probably the last time we'll see each other until Christmas or after Christmas. Oop, 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 oop. This video is going up like a few days after Christmas, so Merry Christmas! I have all of these mini hot chocolates and they're all different flavors. I want to do a hot chocolate taste test, so we have to heat this up. I'm using almond milk out of my normal environment. I don't have my oat milk. I'm leaving Florida tomorrow, going to the rest of my family's house. I have a very long drive ahead of me tomorrow, but it'll be fine. Okay, so these are the hot chocolate flavors. Caramel, gingerbread, double chocolate, cocoa mint, amaretto, hazelnut, 
raspberry and the milk's ready first i want to try the raspberry hot chocolate all the other flavors seem like i could get an idea of what they might taste like without tasting it but this one is a mystery so It's pretty good. I tasted the raspberry more at the beginning. I don't know, that one's interesting. I give it like a seven. Next, what should we do? I wanna do gingerbread. Gingerbread, give us what you got. It's like kind of sparkly. It smells like stronger than it tastes. I give it a six, but then I don't think the raspberry one was a seven. I think the raspberry one was a six. This one is a seven. I wanna try hazelnut. I think it's gonna taste like Nutella. That tastes like nothing. I don't even taste the chocolate. This one sucks. Hazelnut is like a two. No, hazelnut is a one, maybe a zero. Hazelnut doesn't even taste like hot chocolate. Okay, mint. Let's see. Mmm. Oh wow, okay. It's definitely minty. I think this one tastes the most like its actual flavor. I'll give this one an eight. That's the best one so far. Okay, next I wanna try caramel. I have high hopes for caramel. I think caramel would be my favorite flavor. Mmm. Oh no, no. That's just as bad as the hazelnut. You can't taste it. I mean, you can, but even what you do taste is bad. I don't even want to finish that one. I give it a one. Sorry this was so disappointing. Last one's gonna be amaretto. Ooh, that one's flavorful. I give it an eight. All right, thanks for coming to my taste test. Merry Christmas. I think what I'm gonna do, well, this is gonna be after Christmas when you guys see this but if you're still in the Christmas mood, I've been watching on Disney all of the holiday episodes. Last night, I watched That's So Raven, Hannah Montana, and the Phineas and Ferb episode. Tonight, I'm gonna see what else I can find. Merry Christmas. I hope you all got what you wanted. And yeah.